session we are going to see fourier series introduction and its needs it comes under unit 2 analysis of continuous time signals uh, we will see only con uh, continuous time signals here so what is analysis here it means is spectra of a continuous time signal so we know for a system input will be given and output will be produced based on the type of system it is so any system which alters the properties in terms of a signal that is signal contains a frequency amplitude uh, time scale of the signal is uh, known as uh, a system so here we need to analyze what kind of signal and what kind of input it is given and what kind of output it is happening so analysis is nothing but it is a study of spectral properties of a signal in terms of frequency so particularly in terms of frequency so analysis of a ct signal is done mathematically here in terms of signals and system so how we can do it mathematically is nothing but by using some mathematical tools like fourier series fourier transform laplace transform and sometimes z transform so what is fourier series is it is applicable only for sig periodic signals which is in terms of ct as well as dt signals whereas in fourier transform it is applicable for both periodic and aperiodic for ct and dt signals laplace it is applicable only for dt signals and in case uh, whichever is not applicable for fourier series or fourier transform will be done by laplace transformation and finally z transformation this is applicable only for dt signals so the first three covers in the first three units and fourth unit comes with z transformation need for fourier series now comes to the necessity for fourier series so we as i have said here to represent a time domain signals that is in terms of x of t we here in generally it has a signal representation x of t so it should be converted into frequency domain that is x of omega that is a main purpose or objective the science analysis that is the signal analysis can be done in terms of as i said earlier in terms of frequency domain so concentrating only frequency domain is a concept of fourier series so in real world scenario consider a communication system so a source to a destination how the transmission is done so we know i am speaking here it is a audible or voice signal this is a time domain signal which is carried over by means of channel this channel is nothing but the electromagnetic spectrum which is having different set of frequencies so these frequencies which should be high frequency need the signal to be carried from my place to you that is it has any other devices so whatever this type of analog signal should be converted this analog signal is a format of a continuous time signal that is x of t whereas in channel the medium is air or electromagnetic spectrum which will be uh, considering the signal in terms of frequency domain only so the conversion process from x of t time domain to frequency domain is very very important in real world scenarios so we need for fourier series so we will get get into a deep insight of fourier series or fourier transformation with respect to a wave form so consider a triangle a square wave example here if a sinusoidal signal is considered at different set of frequencies so when we are adding these two set of frequencies and uh, getting an output and consecutive uh, output is be again added to the input on of another set of frequency finally we will get a square shaped signal the square shaped signal which is spurious with noise can be eliminated by means of various digital spectrum hence this is how the analysis is done in terms of frequency domain thanks for watching this is how the fourier series is needed